I think about what you have said about yourself, that your reach extends from the streets to the suites. <laughs> Because he understands the power of the people and how to put pressure on the people in the <laughs> He understands, as does Nan, we all have a role to play to create change in our country. So, Rev, I thank you for all that you do. And then, the truth is, and you all know it, we all know it, nothing we have achieved in these last 30 years has come without a fight. And right now, our nation needs us all to continue to play that important role. We need to keep fighting. We are gathered this evening at a pivotal moment in our nation's history. We are nearly two years into the pandemic. There's been so much loss. Loss of lives and livelihoods and a loss of normalcy. But the pandemic has also presented us with something. An opportunity. Because you see, the pandemic has shined a light for more people to see what we have known for a long time, which are the long-standing fractures and fissures in our systems and our structures. The eyes of America are more open to the problems that we have always known to exist. The people of America are demanding solutions that we have been fighting for 